Bernie Sanders, our candidate. There were about 5,000 people who participated in the last Wyoming caucus. It looks like all of them are here tonight. Thank you for the of coming out. And let me remind everybody that we've got a really important caucus here on Saturday. Doors open at 9 a.m. Let's be there. Let's be there. I don't know if the audience here knows it. I don't see any TVs here, but it has been projected by Take a look, all Linda. of the networks that we won in Wisconsin.
is in an unprecedented manner in American history. We have, up to this point in the campaign, received over six million individual campaign contributions. Anyone here know what the average contribution is? To paraphrase Abraham Lincoln at Gettysburg, this is a campaign of the people, by the people, and for the people. We have decided that we do not represent the billionaire class. We do not represent Wall Street, or the drug companies, or the fossil fuel industry. Why is it 
that women go to work tomorrow and they're earning 79 cents on the dollar compared to men? it happen that the United States of America, our great nation, is the only major country on earth not to guarantee paid family and medical leave? What about women giving birth in Wyoming and Wisconsin and Vermont today, but they're going to have to go back to work in two or three weeks because they don't have the income to take care of their family, which is why together we are going to pass three months paying family medical leave. Thank you, President Obama, for your leadership. But, but in terms of health care, there is much, much more that has to be done. United Kingdom, France, Germany, Holland, Scandinavia, Canada, every major country on earth guarantees health care to all of their people as a right except the United States and together we're going to change that international. Structure 
of Iraq and Afghanistan, but we cannot rebuild our own It can't be done. 
thing smaller. But then what happened is fast food workers, people working at McDonald's, people working at Burger King, people working at Wendy's, they went out and tried. And I was very proud to join with those workers in Washington. <laughs> Fellow Americans, we can't live on seven and a quarter an hour. We can't live on eight bucks an hour. You gotta raise the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. And they fought and they fought. And then suddenly a few years ago, Seattle, Washington, 15 bucks an hour. for 15 bucks an hour. What is, my point is that yes, we can change the status quo when we think big and when we have a vision. and their endless supplies of money. I know that corporate America will shut down plants in America and move to Mexico or China if they can make another five dollars in profit. I know that billionaires are funding candidates whose job it is to represent the wealthy and the powerful. I know about the corporate media that will give us all of the information we need except what is most important for working families. I know about all of that, but this is what I also know. I know that what history is about is that when people stand up and they say the status quo is not acceptable, we will not have children working in factories we will not have working people on the job who have no power over those jobs. We will not continue to have segregation or racism or bigotry. We will not have women unable to vote or go to the schools they want or do the work they want. We will pass gay marriage in 50 states. the world to divide us up, like whether we were born in America or born abroad, whether we are Muslim or Jewish or Christian. campaign contributors. Now, this campaign has won seven out of the last eight caucuses and primaries. With your help on Saturday, we're going to win here in Wyoming. the 
because I spent the first 18 years of my life in Brooklyn, New York. Please keep this a secret. Do not tell Secretary Clinton she's getting a little nervous. And I don't want her to get more nervous. But I believe we've got an excellent chance to win New York and a lot of delegates. States on the East Coast out to the West Coast. And we all have an excellent chance to win in Oregon and to win in California. I think that a lot of these super delegates are going to be looking around them and they're going to be saying, which candidate has the momentum? Which candidate is bringing out huge numbers of people and creating huge Which candidate can bring out large numbers of people? I can't use the word huge anymore. But we will win in November if there is a large that's what always happens. Democrats and progressives win <coughs> when there is a large voter turnout. Republicans win when people are demoralized. This campaign is giving energy and enthusiasm to millions of Americans.
with you. And that's what this campaign is about. So I want to thank all of you for coming out. This is just a wonderful, wonderful turnout. And remind you all what I suspect you already know. We have now won seven out of eight of the last caucuses and primaries. With your help on Saturday, we'll make it eight out of nine. And you're going to give us a real boost on the way to the White House. Thank you all so much.